Hey guys, it's Tammy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we have another one, another tutorial using my collection. I'm sorry if you're sick of it. You can't be, it's too early. Because there's so many colors in here, there's so many combinations you can do. And this is what we've come up with today. Very neutral. Um, I did a lot of colorful looks when I was doing my pre-launch content because I wanted to make sure that you can see just what this palette can do. But of course, for my neutral girlies out there that want to kind of work with the browns and the maroons and the orangey tones, then definitely this is a look you can do. You can take the glitter away and just use it. Uh, you will see it's just a soft matte brown smoky eye at first and then I topped it with the glitter to add a little bit of something extra a little bit of sparkle but if you don't want to add the glitter and you just want to do like an everyday soft brown smoky eye you can definitely do that as well then on my lips of course we have my gone rogue shade which comes in the lip set with the glory lip liner then on my cheeks I actually used the golden hour palette for the blush so I went in with blushed baby girl of course because it goes so well with the eye look and then for bronzer I used my favorite paradise glow palette and the bronze gold their shade which is my ideal bronzer so yeah guys we're gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial i hope you guys like it let me know if there's any other looks that you want me to do or any other colors you want to see me play with So to do my brows, I go in with the Benefit Brow in the shade 5, which is basically like a brow pomade type of consistency. It does dry down and last all day, which I love. And it's like waterproof and sweat proof. So I take some of the product onto like my hand bit here and kind of use this as my palette. And I use the Morphe E29 brush, which is the double sided. You get a spoolie and an angled brush. And I usually start at the bottom and outline the bottom. And then wing it out. And then I go on top and do the tail. Then I start flicking up. And then when I get to the beginning of my brow, I turn my brush on its side and just do little kind of brow strokes up. It's fine if it's not perfect, because of course I do go in with concealer to clean up. And I use my Fenty Beauty concealer in the shade 380. I've mentioned this before, but I'm not a big fan of this concealer underneath my eyes, but around my brows to conceal and uh, clean up is perfect. Now I go ahead and take this flat concealer brush. It came in like an eBay brush set that I bought. So no particular, it doesn't have a name or anything. And then I just go ahead and clean up underneath my brows. This is so hard to do because I'm so far away from the mirror right now. Usually I'm really close to it. And then whatever's left on my brush, I turn my brush, what is this, horizontally? Vertically? I'm not quite sure, this way. And then I just run it through my brows to kind of create these like little gaps, illusion of brow hairs. And I do it all the way through to like my tail. And then I take whatever's left on my brush and clean up on top of my brow. So now I take a big fluffy brush and kind of just blend out around the edges and down the middle and of course on my eyelid as well. So this is basically how you fake the bushy look if you have barely any brow hairs like me. This brow style is not for everyone so it's totally fine if you don't like it but um, I have been getting tons of requests to show you guys how I do it so I just wanted to include it here but yeah that is more or less my brows. So now moving on to eyes, we're of course using my Tropical Twilight palette. I'm thinking to do like a neutral look today because I've done tons of colourful so far. First I'm going to prime my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer and blend that in. I think I'm going to start with Coconuts All Over the Lid, which is the dark warm tone brown. And I'm just going to tap that all over the lid. Also, I've had tons of questions asking if you can use the face palette as a eyeshadow and you can definitely do that. This will be the perfect like eyeshadow neutral quad. Okay, so now that that shade is tapped all over the lid, I think I'm going to go into the shade next to it, which is Horizon. It's kind of that dark burgundy shade, this one here. And this I'm going to carry right on the edge of the dark brown to kind of diffuse it out. But I'm still keeping this low because I want to go in with another shade as well. This is a gorgeous, this is one of my favourite shades out of the palette as well. It's like a gorgeous burgundy reddish tone. They blend and layer so well, if I do say so myself. I feel like every time I rave about the palette, it's like, of course, Tammy, you're going to say that. <laughs> but it's true. I think I'm going to mix sand with a little bit of sundown, these two shades here, and use that to diffuse right up by the brow bone. Light pressure, back and forth motions, and they will blend out. So I'm going for like a maroon 
brown smoky eye and then I'm gonna top it with a little bit of glitter and then one more time back in with the first shade that I took coconuts that dark brown and just dusting it all over the lid to make sure it's still nice and dark so those are the matte shades I'm gonna go into cocktails now which is the pink red glitter down here literally just gonna take a small amount of it it's very pigmented so literally and these glitters are so smooth they don't feel super gritty just gonna take a little bit of it and dab it straight onto my eye nice and diffused not too like pigmented in one area how stunning and of course it sticks without any uh primer but i would say if you want a more opaque kind of application then maybe go in with a glitter primer but i like the whole diffuse glitter type of look so it's kind of like as you turn your face you just see different types of sparkles oh it's so cute and then on my inner corner i'm gonna go in with moonlit which is the white shade that uh, comes across pink on the eyes you could also go in with afterglow but i did a look like that in my free looks one palette video so i'm just taking moonlit right on the inner corner could have done this after my base actually and that is the eye look guys super easy to do i'm just going to clean up underneath my eyes before we go in with uh, foundation and today's foundation is going to be the revolution conceal and define in 13.5 just because i haven't used this in a while so i thought i would just use it today and then i'm just going to quickly blend that in because it dries pretty fast so you want to work with it pretty fast Okay, and then for concealer, I'm using my Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer in the shade 60WR. I'm putting that underneath my eyes. This was in my top favourite concealer video. And of course, I forgot to wet my sponge. Of course, I might have to blend this out with a brush because it dries pretty fast. I don't have time to wet my sponge. <laughs> So to set my concealer in place, I'm going to take the Juvia's Place uh, powder in the shade Sahara and I'm just going to press that in with my dry sponge. Probably won't melt as nicely into the skin as a damp sponge would, but we've got to work with what we have right now. And with a clean brush, I'm just going to kind of press and swipe that in. It's a very bright powder in it. Oh my God. It's not too bad. I think I can save it. I think I can save it. Don't worry. So to save it, I'm going to go in with the Black Opal Face Powder in the shade Dark. And I'm literally just going to dab this all over my face and it should counteract that bright colour. Yeah, that looks so much better. I told you I could save it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my lower lash line. I'm going to take the same maroony brown colours. So starting with Horizon, I'm just going to buff that underneath the lower lash line. And then dipping into Moonlit again, I'm literally just going to top up that inner corner colour. Now moving on to my face palette, of course, I'm taking Paradise Glow and I'm taking the bronzer in here called Bronze Goddess. And I'm just going to bronze up my face. Thank you so much for all of the feedback on my face palettes. I'm so glad you guys like understand why I focused on darker skin. Because when I was first talking to Revolution about the face palettes, they were like, you can do one big palette for everyone or you can do like two palettes one lighter one dark and i was like i really just want to focus on darker skin because you guys have tons of products for lighter skin in the face department in terms of face palettes you know you've worked with other creators to make light face palettes so i really kind of just wanted to focus on something that i thought was needed in their line so if you are a lighter skin supporter of mine i hope you don't feel like i left you out that wasn't my intention at all i just felt like it wasn't needed a light face palette from me wasn't needed i'm sorry i totally understand that you wanted a face palette in this design and I totally get that point but if I did create a palette for lighter skin it would have took a palette away from medium dark or deep dark skin because they offered me two palettes basically do you want to do one big face palette or two face palettes so I'm going to stop justifying myself but basically I felt like a medium dark and a deep dark was needed so that's why I did it anyways for blush today I'm actually going to go into the golden hour palette because I always use paradise glow but today's look is very you know pinky not pinky ready toned so I think the blushed baby girl blush is going to be perfect and apply this blush works perfectly for me as well but it will work gorgeously for anyone darker than me as well i'm also going to take the golden hour blush in here so you guys can see it on my skin tone and i'm gonna highlight my cheek look at that glow this color is so gorgeous 
I can't wait to see all of you using this collection because honestly, oh. And last but not least, of course, we're gonna go in with my Tropical Twilight Lip Set. And I'm gonna use the darker shade today, which is Gone Rogue, because this will go perfect with this eye look as well. So I'm gonna show you guys how this looks without the lip liner, but you do, of course, get Glory Lip Liner in here, which I'm probably gonna go in with later. But this is such a beautiful, everyday, soft, nude. I don't feel like I need a lip liner with it, but you guys will see what I mean, so. This is how it looks without a lip liner. It looks just so gorgeous, like my lips, but better. But I do like to use Glory to just define my lips, you know? Cause right now my lips are kind of melting into my face, but when you put the lip liner, it kind of just defines it and makes your lips stand out and look nice and plump. So I'm just gonna outline my lips. You see how it just makes the lips stand on their own? I know I said it in my previous video, but one of these lip glosses will go with any look that you do. So yeah, I just love this lip set so much. So that is the makeup, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some lashes on and then I'll come back to you with the final look. Okay, guys, and I'm back. So here is the final look. <laughs> and I completely forgot to turn my mic on for this uh, outro. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick voiceover. This is a gorgeous everyday type of, well, if you take the glitter away, you can wear this brown smoky eye every day. But if you add the glitter, it just adds a perfect little glam touch so of course make sure you guys are shopping my tropical twilight collection on revolutionbeauty.com now also coming soon to superdrug asos beauty bay and ulta so definitely stay tuned for those launch dates but hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you are enjoying twilight tutorials week make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video take care bye